Hello everyone, welcome to the video today. Uh, I'm going to cover uh, something called the Azure Logic App in the hands-on video today. And if you're preparing for the AZ303 or 304 exam, this lab would be useful and also useful for the 500 as well. Uh, in this one, I'm going to try to keep it as much hands-on as possible and show you some features of the logic app uh, before i start anything just want to tell you when to use the logic app there are lots of different ways you can solve a problem logic app is typically you would use when you do not want to code too much you want to use a graphical interface to build the workflow and you want to connect multiple different systems that has api availability or api support where you will be doing something you'll be calling it uh, get giving you some input you will get some output you will feed that output back to a different connector and you build your conditions to do some do some work for you to 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 get to the end point or, or the goal that you're trying to achieve for this particular lab i want to use two of the uh, very very popular connector one is the twitter connector and is the google sheets what we'll do, we will use the Twitter connector. We're going to use that one as the trigger. And since this is like almost the election time, we'll look for uh, the Trump hashtag in within the tweets. And we are going to use the sentiment analysis or the text analy analysis. And we'll, we'll, we'll calculate the sentiment score of our tweets. And then we're going to save that information within Google Search. When you have that information, then you can perform your own data analysis to see how people are uh, reacting and, and using the hashtag. And uh, any score above seven is usually means it's a positive sentiment. Anything that scored uh, 0.3 and below is negative. Anything in between is usually neutral. So just let's get started. So what you have to have is a valid Azure subscription. If you don't have, just go ahead and register one for yourself. Uh, and then once you have it and once you're logged in, just search for the Logic app. Okay, so once you have this uh, over here, just click on the Add button to create your Logic app instance. So I'm going to create a new resource group, call it maybe election and uh, hit enter. The name, um, I'll just call it Tweet Analysis, and I'm going to put it in the US. Uh, I don't need any tags. I'm just going to create, uh, review and create, and then the Create button to create the instance that I'm going to work with. It usually takes less than a minute to, yeah, it's all done. So you can go to the uh, resource right now. And uh, for the Logic app, <clears throat> it comes with hundreds of connectors. And again, you can read some uh, text over here. It brings speed and scalability into enterprise integration space. The ease of use of the designer, variety of available triggers and actions, and powerful management tool makes centralizing your API similar, simpler than ever. As businesses move towards digitalization, Logic Apps allows you to connect legacy and cutting edge systems together. So again, here three major points, create business processes and workflows visually, no code or very little code, integrate with SaaS and enterprise application, unlock value from on-prem and cloud operations. Now over here, Logic App always starts with a trigger. And the trigger, you can use one of the connectors. There are hundreds of connectors that are available. Recurrence, HTTP request, new to it. So since we're going to work with the tweets, what I'll do, I'll just click on this particular connector when the tweet is posted. So it's going to give you this connector. It says this logic app will connect to. And you have to provide <coughs> your Twitter username and password. So let's just do that. And I'm going to authorize this application, my Logic App. Uh, it, it's got the green mark. That means it's a valid connection at this time. Uh, once this is done, you can hit on continue. And here, what are you searching? So maybe let's do uh, slash D 
R U M P comma. You can also just do T R U M P both if you like. So search text or maybe just make everything simple. Just keep it hashtag Trump. Okay. Then how often do you want this trigger to run? Uh, let's make this maybe 15 seconds instead of minutes. And I think that's all I need in uh, here. Text parameters. Let's see if there's anything that I need to add. I don't need any of this. So I'm good. So go to the next step. And here, once the new tweet is posted, I want to perform some 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 cognitive analysis. So here, I'm just going to search for text uh, analytics. Let's see if it shows up for me. Uh, text analytics. So I'm just going to click on it. And what I want to do, I want uh, detect sentiment. So what you will see, you have two different one: detect sentiment and detect sentiment v2 preview. I'm just going to use this one preview for this lab. You can definitely use the one uh, preview is the is probably not. It's still not released for the public use, but it's the latest one. So I'm just going to use this one. And over here, what you see, you need a connection name, account key and the site URL. So here you need the key and how to get the key. So what I'll do, I'll come over here. And I'm going to open another tab for the Azure portal. And over here, I'm just going to again search for the text analytics. And over here, marketplace, you see the text analytics, you click on it. And uh, it's going to give me something. So I can say text analytics instance. Okay, so I'm going to put it here in the pricing tier. You see there is a, a free tier available that will give you 5k transactions per 30 days. So I'm just going to use this one for this lab. For the resource group, I'm going to put it under the election resource group. And hit create. So once uh, you have this uh, text analytics cognitive services, text analytics instance available, available to me, uh, it's already done. So click on go to the resource and go to the keys and endpoint. Here, click on the show, show keys, and I'm just going to use the key one for this lab. Just click on it and put the account key. And you also need the site URL, and that's also available over here as the endpoint. So you keep that one. It's just copied. Now put it over here. So now I just put a connection name, just say text analytics connection. Okay, so that's you can pretty much use any name you like. Uh, just hit create. So it's creating the text analytics connection. Uh, let's see here. It's asking for any parameters that I want to put. So I can put something like a document, and it's gonna ask uh, what are you gonna do. So the document language, yeah. So, so I'm gonna only look at the Twitter text that are English, and let's see document one. What do we want to see? Say tweet text is something we want to analyze. And uh, document, that is document ID one, document text one. Uh, let's see what we have. Description, no, not description. Maybe over here, uh, tweet, put, provide tweet text here and document ID one. Maybe put uh, something else. Uh, name of the user should be good and uh, once I have this uh, I can go to the next step and in the next step what I want to do once I'm done with the analyzing of our sentiment uh, we can save it to the Google slide or Google whatever Google Google sheets so what you what you do really just search for the Google sets okay so it will show up and just click on it and click on the sheets and then go to the Google sheets over here you can click uh, 
blank one I just created a blank one and I just have only two headings if you can have multiple different things in here and I just said uh, just keep tweet by and the sentiment and I changed the sheet name to tweet so okay, that's all I have done so over here in my I'm just gonna do it again Google and if you just say Google it should show up and the Google chase you sh uh, select that one and we want to insert a row okay now you need to connect to your Google account and give access again it's another connector really so I'm just gonna click on it and say allow so so that's it so now it's asking it's connected it says a pika file so just click on this uh, picker icon then Google Drive click on it it should give you all the files that are available and I'm just gonna use the tweet and now uh, this is file that I've created now in this file uh, Google is asking which worksheet I've already created a name renamed the worksheet as tweets in this tweets we have two different parameters tweet by and sentiment both of them are available in here see how great that connector is now over here for the connect tweet by you can come over here if you just click your button here it will give you what are the different uh, items that you can populate so tweet by tweeted by so I'm just gonna get that one and for the sentiment you just come over here and search for score so it should give you a score and it will tell you the decimal number between uh, 0 to 1 come on show me the big so pretty much uh, 0 to 1 is your score if it's if it's closer to 1 you have a positive uh, score or positive sentiment um, 0.7 and up is actually a positive sentiment 0.3 and and below is a negative one anything anything between like 0.5 would be a neutral one so that's about it that's our simple connector so we are going to look when the tweet is posted and it's with a hashtag of, of, of Trump uh, and then we're going to calculate our sentiment in that particular tweet and for each of them we are just going to insert a row in our Google Sheets so let's uh, save this design and uh, it says save logic app completed as soon as this is done you can hit the run button and it will tell you whether your logic app if there is any problem or anything like that so you see all these uh, tick marks they are all green that means everything all of the connections that we have made they're working properly <clears throat> at this time I'm just gonna hit run and uh, what I'll do I'll come back over here and look at that so I have already this uh, this uh, this sheet that that we have created it started populating and if you look at the sentiment here some that are point two that's a negative sentiment point six the negative one point nine eight it's a very good score that's a positive one and the positive one here's another one negative that's a neutral okay so if you keep w waiting here you know in next uh, hour or show you will have a whole bunch of data available for you where you can start doing a more in-depth analysis about how people are reacting uh, with when they're making uh, tweets with with uh, hashtag Trump in their in, in their tweets that will give you a little bit of idea how things are going for the election maybe uh, coming back to the logic app over here you can go back to the logic app over here over here and if you come to the overview there here under the summary it's going to give you uh, some information uh, triggers is the Twitter frequency how often you are you are uh, calling the trigger is every 15 seconds and it's also going to tell you how many times the trigger is has been run and uh, this is not really showing so you really have to refresh this and it says evaluated 13 times fired 10 times in the last 24 hours okay so you can also click on the trigger history this is really going to give you this and on any of these 
uh, if you see what happened when the trigger was last run you can click on that one that particular trigger and it's going to tell you when the tweet is posted okay so it's going to give you a little bit information about the tweet itself okay the text sentiment it will click on it and it will tell you what is the score and the two items that you're going to save and because it's got an uh, got everything it needed you can go to the insert row and see what happens so it sentiment it used that it got the tweeted by and it at it, it it inserted this inside the spreadsheet sometimes very uh, 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 periodically you may see that this insert has failed for whatever reason if that happens you can just click on the resubmit button and it's going to ask you if you use you want to resubmit that button you just say yes and it will insert for us it was successful so i didn't need to run that but if i come back over here here is the one that i just uh, reinserted and that's the same thing is available over here and it's here because last time it was successful as well okay so again you can come back over here uh, go to the text analysis and uh, sometimes you know if you want to run this uh, your app manually uh, again uh, here this is the the free service i'm using uh, how many calls i can do i can do 5000 calls i've already used uh, 10 calls looks like so 4990 is uh, uh, running free tier rest period is 30 days so all of that information is, is available over here for the cognitive service Okay, so come back to your logic app again. Uh, go to your tweet analysis. And again, anytime if you want to run your trigger manually, you can always click that run trigger button. And this is your trigger when a new tweet is posted. You just click on that one. Successfully checked the trigger. So your trigger is run. So I'm expecting some more tweets, more data to be showed up in here. And it did. So once you have that, as I said, you can go ahead and do your analysis, take this data and maybe, you know, go to the data and uh, there's a graph format, maybe insert chart. Yeah, insert chart is a good thing. So you can click uh, and create chart of the way that you like and uh, you can do all kinds of charts in here count of sentiment and all of that uh, you know you, you probably have to analyze the data possibly do a histogram and kind of look at it what uh, positive how many positive sentiments you're getting how many negative you're getting uh, just looking at this one it looks most of the sentiments are pretty positive there are a few that i see a negative and, and some that are neutral okay so if you're really crazy about the uh, election and do something <laughs> interesting go ahead and do something like that maybe try out different uh, hashtags and uh, come up with your own data and be uh, an election guru uh, this year okay good luck with that uh, again if you're studying for the exam 303304 uh, very good luck uh, thank you for watching the video. I'll probably do more videos on Logic Apps and go in depth uh, with some other connectors. Uh, maybe use the function apps in upcoming videos. So keep an eye. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and please share the video with your friends and leave your valuable comments so I can make better videos next time for you. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.